What is going on you guys? Scott here. And today I'm going to be doing a video on showers. One of the questions I get asked all the time is how are you guys doing hot showers, hot pressurized showers out in the woods? So today I'm going to do a video of how I do it. It's a little DIY setup. I'm going to show you how I do it and then I'm going to show you how you can make one yourself. So let's get started. All right, guys, so here's the setup, and I'm going to get into it a little bit more in depth in just a second. But I really do need to shower. I've been processing firewood for about two hours as far as gathering it and then sawing it and cutting it. So I'm ready to take a shower. I will say one thing, guys, before I get into how this works. Yesterday, when I was getting all my gear together, in fact, I feel it right now, my bear spray went off in my car. It hurts pretty bad. In fact, I tried to wash my face and made it worse because the water got everywhere, but my face burns, my eyes burn, my gear is covered in bear spray. I've never been exposed to mace or bear spray before. This was a complete accident and it completely discharged in my car, all over my gear. Um, the good thing is bear spray is red so I can see where it is. Try not to touch it, but every time I get wet or my face gets wet, that stuff just drips right into my eyes, into my mouth. It really is annoying. So I'm gonna shower here in a bit. I'm a little nervous about it because I'm scared my hair's got all that bear spray and it's just gonna drip in my eyes, but it's time to do it. So here's what we got. This is the full pressurized shower setup. This is a one gallon pest control or a, what is this like for pesticides, stuff like that that you can get at Walmart, all right? This entire setup will cost you will cost you about $20. Um, I'm gonna show you how I use it. I'm gonna go through the functionality of it. And then, like I said, I'll show you piece by piece how to make one yourself. The way I do this, guys, I um, took the hose that comes with the sprayer. I then grabbed a kitchen sprayer and just joined the two together. And now I can pressurize water, hold on throw a stick in here. Got some more twigs in there to keep that fire going. So I've got the sprayer here. You can fill it up with a gallon of water, pressurize it with the pump. And at that point, you've got pressurized water. We use this for washing dishes. We'll use this for brushing teeth, but also for hot showers. So for a hot shower, guys, I fill half a gallon with cold water, and then I boil water to fill up the other half just to get it as lukewarm or as hot as I want it. At that point, it's simply pump it up for pressure and we're ready to shower. So let me get this water ready. And let me get the shower ready and I'll catch right back up with you. All right, guys, I got the hot shower ready good to go. Now, when you're showering with one gallon of water, guys, it's kind of like if you've showered on a boat or an RV, you're going to wet yourself down, soap up, then rinse off. You're not going to just keep that water going constantly. But I'm going to sit here and shower, get this bear spray off, hopefully, and not in my eyes. Yeah, I don't feel it too bad. And then, guys, I will catch back up with you inside the tent, and I'll walk step by step how you make one of these yourself. Bye. Man, that shower was nice. It changes the whole camping experience. I gotta say, if you're out for multiple days in the forest, getting dirty, getting smoky, the ability to shower, wash yourself off, put on some clean clothes, just is amazing. It feels much better than at home, that's for sure. All right, so this thing, guys, this shower is not an idea that I came up with by myself. I actually saw surfers in California using this setup so that when they were done surfing, they could jump in their car, rinse off, get all that salt, salt water off them before they change and then drive home. When I saw that, I realized I should use that same setup so I can shower at camp. Let's put this thing together. Let me show you how to do it. It's super simple, super uh, inexpensive. I think I said $20 earlier. It'll probably be closer to 30, 25, 30. Prices have gone up. 
All right, so the first thing we're gonna need, guys, is the one gallon sprayer. Everything I'm gonna look at is at Walmart, all right? Walmart.com, not because they're an ethical company, just because we're trying to do it inexpensively, right? As, as cheap as possible. And the links that I put in the description will be for these parts, guys, but they are not gonna be affiliate links, not trying to make money on this, just a cool idea. So let's go to walmart.com. We're gonna search for kitchen sprayer. Kitchen sprayer, and really we want the kitchen sprayer with hose. My internet's a little slow, guys. I'm on a hot spot out in the forest with one bar of connection, so give it a second. All right, right here. So, Peerless Sink Sprayer with four foot hose, 1488. I'll have a link in the description for it, but that's exactly what you see here. Next thing we need, back to Walmart, is, what is it? Oh, one gallon sprayer. So a one gallon sprayer, and this is like a pesticide, you know, bug spray type thing. Come on, internet. All right, one gallon sprayer right here. This is the exact same one you see on the table, 998, the Eliminator one gallon. I will put that link in the description as well. So now that we have the one gallon sprayer, we've got the kitchen nozzle attachment. We need to cut the hose that came with the one gallon bug sprayer, cut that hose off, and then we're gonna attach the kitchen sprayer to it. Now, I did it here with these brass fittings. It made it way more complicated than I needed to. If you go to Home Depot or if you go to Lowe's, guys, I'm not gonna put the specific part on because I'll get it wrong. They make little plastic connectors different sizes on each side. You can get whatever you need to fit these together. And they're about a dollar. So it's much cheaper than this brass fitting. And if you go to Home Depot, show them the hose sizes, the guy there will show you that little plastic connector. And all you do is push these two ends together and you've got your shower. So super easy to put together, 25, 30 bucks. You've got a hot shower, pressurized water. You can do dishes, you can clean up, you can bathe. And it's all great. It's it's great in the woods, guys. So I, I hope that helps anyone who had questions on this. I've had lots of emails on it for some reason. People want to know, how are you showering out in the woods? This is how I do it. This is how we do it as a family. So guys, I appreciate that. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Stay safe. I'm just stuck here in a dream. Oh.